Okay, so hello my brothers and today I'm going to fulfill my promise from the June. Today we are going to create the Great Austria, the Great Osterreich. Cause last time when we were playing Austrian Empire we have just reunified the Danubian Federation and spread our influence into the Balkans. But today we are going to spread our influence in the whole Europe. Today we are going to bring the National Populist Party into the rule in the Austrian Empire. For bringing National Populists we are going to pay a lot cause we are going to fight with our puppets. With each our puppets, starting from the Bohemia, going down to the Galicia, Lodomeria and Illyria. So anyways, let's start our campaign and enjoy! Angetreten. Ihre Befehle. Befehle. Angetreten. Befehle. Achtung. Bereit. The situation of Austria in 1936. I don't think that we should read this information because we all understand that the situation in the 1936 in the Austrian Empire is catastrophic. Empire is crashed, puppets want to get free and Hungary want to get access to the sea. But that won't happen in today's campaign. As always, let's start with the population. Now our population in the whole Austria is 15 million people living right up here, but core of them are only 11 million people. In non-core population we have stupid Italians and Slovenians. Slavs don't want to be core population. But in one day they all are going to become Austrians. Italians, Slovenians, Croatians, Serbs, Hungarians, Czechians, Slovenians, Polish people and Ukrainian people. As well as Romanians. All hail Austria. Or Osterreich. And that's gonna be our main focus tree line. Liebens Aryan Austrian nation. Hmm, I like the sword portrait. Hach, it's for the people to decide. Which people? I'm going to decide the future of the Austria. Stupid hoi for. Oh, and Russia has annexed Kazakhstan. Now they are one country with Russia. There is no more Alash autonomy. I don't know why, but our government doesn't like the Ostreichische Ariosophische Einheits Party. Get out of here. But uh, we like them. We like them a lot. And yeah, to get EAE, we need to get the victory of the Haydn Syndicalist, Social Democratische Arbeiter Party of the Austria. They should win and after their win we are going to bring our people to the power. Well, I'm not surprised. Austria is social democrat. Austrian Marxism be like Haydn syndicalists in the face of the social democrats. To bring our brothers we need to ban their party. It sounds stupid, but it's elections of the Austria. It's normally. Good job, my friends. Good job. Oh, they deleted swastika from our flag. Isn't that bad? Our flag was based when we got swastika in the every corner of our flag. It was the based flag. In anyways, legionary order of friends has took order in the French Republic. Now our national populist brothers are ruling France. So we won't have war with you, brother. Labenfels Constitution. We are doing what is best for the Austria. First of all, let's get rid of the socialists, of the hidden socialists 
and of the social democrats. We dislike all of them. The next one who is gonna be destroyed is gonna be the social conservatives. Cause they are too high than socialists. Conservatism is just their fake face, which hides syndicalism and radical socialism. Sanctions? Yes, apply sanctions. It's not Russia, but let's apply sanctions to anyone. Heh, <laughs> Austria be like, import substitution, Austrian edition. Russians should learn from us how to do the import substitution, cause we are doing it pretty successfully. Now Austria is going to depend only by herself and her resources. As we expected, Austrian Socialist Revolution, SDAP made up the Socialist Revolution. We are not surprised, cause stupid SDAP sympathizers would do that anyway. Our goal now is just to destroy them once and forever and get rid of all socialists from our country. And also stupid Slovenians rises up. They are gonna be destroyed too. So horrors of the socialism was destroyed, now let's destroy Slovenia. Slovenians are going to regret about their revolution. Slovenia? Never heard about it. Based Austrian reunification. Now all our enemies are destroyed and we can deal pretty good in our country and make dead decisions that we want. Auxlag preparations. What a joke. They really think that we should make Auxlag and we want to do it? Well, we have other ideas. Sorry, brothers. No Auxlag this year and in the next 10 years there will be no Auxlag too. And except the main focus tree line, we got unlock the military focus tree line and unlock the economy stabilization focus tree line, as well as the protector of the Balkans small focus tree line. And that's all. The main focus tree line of the Austrian Empire with the AUX lag, uh, with the victory between the social conservatives and SDP, is blocked forever. But, anyways, we don't need it. Safonov, aplatit. Uh, okay, I didn't get that move. They just declared war on us. <laughs> okay, Talent Federation, okay. We will deal with you. And you are not so strong to defeat us. That's gonna be easy enough. I just can't get now one thing. For what did they expect for? And also let's capture San Marino. We can't let San Marino stay independent. Plus one encirclement. Okay, now we got more problems. Illyria has declared war on us. Ah, fucking betrayer. I don't like betrayers at all. Hungary, invade this bastard. And all of you must enter this war too. While we are fighting with Italians, Hungarians and other fight with Illyria. That's why it's good to have a puppets. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to have a peace with you, brother. No, 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 no. They didn't capture my territory, so fuck all of you. We will start new war with you. I didn't say that I want to surrender. Good news, our Hungarian brothers now are having fun in the Zagreb, cause they have captured this based city, based creation city. And also we are going to create our own worms in the West Croatia and also in the Bosnia. Now our offensive as you can see is pretty successful cause we are taking the western coastline back to the Austria. And they have moved their capital to the Bosnia. I promise to you it's gonna be the last war crime in the Slovenia. There will be no more war crimes cause Illyria is gonna be destroyed and it's gonna be no more sponsors of the Slovenian separatism. Эти люди думают, что находясь под крышей своих иностранных спонсоров, они могут чувствовать себя комфортно и в безопасности. Так ли это? May 1938 minus Slovenia. Only Italy and Croatia has left. Хах! Even Serbs declared war on them. Stupid Croatians. Uh, minus Illyria. 
Why I said only Elyria? Cause we don't even count these stupid non-brooders. Heh, <laughs> stupid Serbs got nothing from this war. And now it's gonna be the end for the Italian barbarians. Finally we have defeated Italy and Italian forces. And with that we got the bad news. Uh, Serbia and Romania has joined uh, the Russian alliance. So war with Russia is gonna be unacceptable. I agree with that, the last Italy standing. Now Austria is gonna be named as Italy. And they are gonna be like our puppet. I have thought a little bit and understood that I don't want Italy to exist on those lands, so now they are going to move on Sardinia. That's gonna be their land. And that's gonna be my land, cause I'm going to build a great European empire. And I need those territories to make the great European empire. So this is focus 3 is gonna be the end of the status quo in the Austro-Hungarian empire. Cause after this focus 3 they won't tolerate us. Like Bohemians, Hungarians, Ukrainians and Polands, they will just say oh, fuck you Austria and let's have a war with you. So now we need to prepare to war with the Bohemia, Kingdom of Hungary and Galicia Lodomeria. Or maybe some of them will be loyal to us, so we will annex them after their loyalty to us. Amen. And now is the place where the schizophrenia starts, cause the Kaiser has attempted to win back our trust, but it's of no use. He supported the Austin of our government and this is unforgivable. The man has lost all credibility with God and will pay the price for the proceeding with such a horrendous act. And we are going to replace Karl von Gabsburg with Otto von Gabsburg. Why not and we are going to have a new name. We will be known as the Austrian Federal State. What did I said before? Uh, they all have declared war on us. In the past these dudes were our brothers. Now they are our enemies. So let's attack them. It seems that Czechia can't hold our offensive, but Hungary is doing much more better. As you can see we have just captured a few places and that's all for now. But I'm sure that after the capitulation of the Bohemia we will do much more better cause we are going to have more than 16 free divisions to the, our main front line with the Hungary. Yep, we have split it up Bohemia and that's gonna be the end for the Praga regime. Hungarians even want to counterattack us, but it's unsuccessful. After taking Praga, Czechia has fully capitulated. Now only two enemies has left, Hungary and Galicia. Now it's distinctly that Hungary is going to fall, cause we are moving further and further pretty fast. Now look at us. The Great Austrian Trail is coming, cause our color is like the color of the gachi. Color of the Dungeon Master. Or it's the color of the Sword Reich, but without the Hitler. Even without Hitler we can build a great state for the Austrians, for the whole German people. Horrors of the socialism in the Poland must be destroyed before the second world crack starts. Wow, Kremlin Kaganate is an a puppet of the Ottoman Empire. And what about Galicia Lodomeria? They are going to fall pretty soon, cause they are the weakest one of the whole empire. And uh, hello there, we are going to get a lot of core states. As you can see, it's quite a big, 77 states or even more. So we have finally reunified Austria and not only Austria. What can we say about our population? Now our population is even more than 91 million people living in the whole Austrian federal state. But uh, that's not enough for us. We need 300 plus million people living in the Austrian federal state. For now these lands are gonna be just occupied. But in the future we are going to integrate them. And imagine that now Karl von Gabsburg is just sitting in the Vienna, in a cell, at the public, he is sitting like a monkey, and people are viewing on the Karl von Gabsburg, 
on our previous monarch that is just sitting in the cell in the Vienna. Funny moment, strange country. Let's wait, communards. Cause I'm too lazy to wait a lot of days just to enter the Poland and annex it. And after the conquering of the Poland, I would like to annex the whole Poland, cause we don't like the Polish statehood, as well as the other statehoods. They must be destroyed by our Austrian young forces. And now we have enough manpower to do that. Minus Poland. I I'm not even surprised about their capitulation. If I had more divisions, I would like to start the war with the German Empire right now, but uh, we need to wait to make more forces. And for now, our population is 106 million people living in the Austrian federal state. Vienna is gonna be the capital of the whole Europe. And of course, as always, the King of France declared war on the German Empire, and we wish luck to no one, cause we are going to destroy both of them as well as the Deutsche Kaiserreich, as well as the French Communards and their allies. Now, my dear brothers, I'm preparing to have a fun in the Reich's Pact to destroy the Deutsche Kaiserreich, Kingdom of Lithuania and also Ukraine. And don't forget about Belarus. Before we start the war with the Germans, let's declare war on the Krivia or Belarus. А я сейчас вам покажу, откуда готовилось нападение на Беларусь. И если бы за 6 часов не был нанесен превентивный удар, 4 позиции я сейчас вам покажу. Польша, Галиция, Австрия и Венгрия. So the first great trail of the German Empire made by Big Flopa and his funny ears is coming. In a 10 days we are going to declare war on the German Empire and her puppets. Actually, that's gonna be funny. Well, that's gonna be easy, cause at the beginning of the war we are going to cut the East Germany from the West Germany and we are going to cut Lithuania from Ukraine and it's gonna be the easily encirclement. We are going to close that encirclement and after that we are moving to the Berlin and to the Western Germany. At least all area of the Western Rhine is gonna be ours. The Great Trail has started. And as I said, we won't have any problems with defeating the German Kaiserreich. It's less than one week since the war has started and just look at the, our great result. Now the Eastern front line is cut down from the Western front line and it more reminds me the special military operation, not the, the great trial. It seems to me that by the end of the spring 1940 we are going to see the collapse of the Deutsches Kaiserreich. They won't even hold to the summer 1940. Half of May has gone and just look at the size of the Deutsche Kaiserreich. We are near Berlin, we are almost storming Berlin. The Eastern Front Line is near to collapse too. Only Ukraine is holding good enough. Hello, free city of Berlin. Now we have the end of the Rex Pact. Just listen to this sound. That is the sound of the victory. Ooh, I can even take the German colonies. We have to Quay Highway and Nantong. And now we have the partition of the Deutsche Kaiserreich. And that's good enough for me. Also minus Denmark. Even Iceland too. But Greenland is my main goal to capture. Now I'm going to have my own colonies in the North America. Deep dark fantasy color of Iceland. Bye bye Ukraine. Yeah, game doesn't really like that I occupy everyone. I even got a lot of debuffs because of the occupation of the Germany. What should I do? Release Germany or what? And now stupid communards are trapped in the Saarbrücken and Luxembourg because they are didn't connect with the mainland France. Now we have even spread our influence into the Sweden. Just look at the our empire. And what about the population of mine empire? The population of mine empire is more than 260 million people living in the whole Austrian federal state. But now I have 100% of stability. Thankfully to the mine focused reliant. So now my country is stabilized. And now we are going to declare the Gross Österreichische Reich. 
Now we reminds me the gross Germanish Reich in the real history. But gross Österreich Reich sounds even more epic than the gross Germanish Reich. Oh my god, just look at the number of divisions in the Luxembourg. And now let's just have fun with the French Communards and let's help Antente and try to save the legionary order of France cause they are our national populist brothers, as I said in 1938. Communards are weak so we can easily defeat them and capture Paris in the next few months. Oh, we didn't make it. They have capitulated. Fuck. It was even easier than capturing the Deutsches Kaiserreich. Communards are even weaker than the Deutsches Kaiserreich. What about Italians? They still can't fight with anyone. They just going to fall and that's gonna be the happy end for them. The Western Fortress is still holding. January 1941 the French Communards have capitulated. Heh, <laughs> minus stupid British tanks. Now, to make our naval invasion, we need only 3% of naval supremacy in the Eastern North Sea and 10% of naval supremacy in the English Channel. And after that, we will land right into the east coast of the Britons. Yes, brothers, after our victory, we have finally made it. Fuck off, Norwegian fleet, it's none of your business. Now we need to get the rest of our forces to the English coast. Now England is gonna be ours. Goodbye England. London has fall. There is no more capital of the Great Britain. Finally, goodbye stupid communards. We will take all their lands. Like even Central America. And I don't care about those African lands. Let it stay with the West African Federation and Entente. Cause we didn't want to destroy the French brothers in the Africa, so let Entente take those lands. And don't forget about the small blitzkrieg in the Europe. No Malta, no Switzerland, hmm, Ireland, why not? No Norway, we need their steel. As well as France, no France. But stupid Britons, let's divide them. You know, I like that partition, it looks awesome. And stupid Italy will get Corsica. And oh my god, it, it's only the year 1941 and we have created 24 cool heavy tank armored divisions. Please put like for this. I like this sound too much, just listen. Zuhören. Zuhören. And this division will be put it on the Kharkiv front and from Kharkiv they will move right into the Moscow. Nothing will stop our tank fist which is going right into the Moscow. Just fuck off Canada, I won't have war with you. Ok, we didn't capitulate Russia to the end of the fall, but by the end of the winter 100% that they are going to fall. We are going to reach Yekaterinburg in the February or even in the January. And there will be no Russian counteroffensive. Two or three weeks and Russians are going to fall. Th that's the... That's the final date. That's just the final date, I promise you. Two or three weeks and Russians are going to fall. April 1942, it's the end of the Russia. The game didn't even lag after this. Wow. So I'll take all territories of the Russian alliance. I know it sounds like a joke, but the game just crashes after the Russian capitulation. So let's just summarize the statistic that we have right now. What about our population? Now our population is almost 500 million people living in the Gross Osterreichs Reich. And also we can proclaim a Holy Roman Empire, so let's try to do it. Our color now. I don't like it. And the name is just boring. The Osterreichs Reich was better. Much more better. Anyway, we have built a great country with a great economy. It, it, it's, it's, it's something. It's, it, these numbers, it's just something. I, I, I can't even explain what they feel about this. In the Russian, I would say, Ahuyet. And now, just wait for another one campaign in the Kaiser Redux, and after that, we will have a great campaign 
that is dedicated to the 1st of September. So thanks for watching my brothers and bye. Sorry for no peace with Russia.